The commute to work for an average person goes from trains to cabs to public buses, or maybe you enjoy the luxury of having your own car, but you still have to deal with traffic on a daily basis. However, when you are wealthy, as in billionaire level wealthy, you don't have to deal with noisy babies, nosy strangers, or nasty smells. As a matter of fact, you can travel and still make business decisions that add to your bank of overflowing cash while in the air. Everything is bigger and better when you are rich, and if you don't believe that, wait till you find out the number of planes one billionaire has. From tech innovators to savvy investors, the CEO billionaires of the world have one thing in common. They love traveling in comfort. Fleets of planes, expensive automobiles, and some interestingly modest car choices are among the top choices for its richest CEOs. And today, we're going to look at how the richest CEOs travel. Number 10. Steve Ballmer Starting with the 10th richest man in the world right now, we have Steve Ballmer, the former CEO of Microsoft and current businessman and NBA Los Angeles Clippers owner. With a net worth of $84.5 billion, Steve Ballmer definitely has the funds to live large. He enjoys traveling in his private jet, the Gulfstream G650, which comes with a price tag of about $70 million, barely a chunk of Ballmer's wealth. While he is not in the air, Steve Ballmer surprisingly prefers to move around in his environmentally friendly Ford Fusion Hybrid, which only cost $19,000. He got his Ford Fusion Hybrid personally delivered in 2009 by the then-CEO Alan Mulally, and the Ford Fusion Hybrid is one of several Ford vehicles that Balmer owns. Number 9. Mukesh Ambani As the second richest man in India, Mukesh Ambani is known for a lot of things, including his $2 billion home known as the Antilia and his impressive car collection. But there's a lot more that he can afford with his $92.2 billion net worth. When Mukesh Ambani wants to travel, he has a choice to make between an impressive Boeing Business Jet 2 with 1,004 square feet of space that costs $73 million, a custom-fitted Airbus 319 that he gifted his wife for her 44th birthday, or a $43 million Falcon 900 EX jet. For land trips, Mukesh has a Mercedes Maybach 62 with a value of over half a million dollars, a $1 million BMW 760Li and a Rolls-Royce Phantom, which is the most expensive Rolls-Royce flagship car with a market value that starts at about $500,000 and goes up to about $1.7 million. Champagne problems are a real thing when you're a billionaire. Number 8. Gautam Adani Gautam Adani is an avid car collector with a passionate interest in air travel. Funded in a significant part by his $107.5 billion net worth. For his flights, the founder of Adani Group enjoys traveling in style in his $2 million Hawker 800, Embraer Legacy 650, which cost between $15 to $19 million, or his Bombardier Challenger 600, which is worth about $700,000 to $900,000. Aside from his three private jets, Gautam Adani does not have to sit in traffic for a minute because he can take short trips in any of his three helicopters, including an Augusta Westland AW-139 that cost well over $1 million. Although he started his career in the 1980s commuting a gray Bajaj super scooter, his wealth has transformed his lifestyle, and the billionaire loves driving his luxury collection that includes a Rolls-Royce Ghost and a BMW 7 Series limousine. And we can't forget his favorite, a red Ferrari California. Numbers 7 and 6. Larry Page and Sergey Brin these two are some of the most famous people on the internet because they founded Google. The co-founders of Google and former CEOs have a unique friendship, and when they go on trips, they travel in a style befitting billionaires. They co-own a Boeing 767-200, which they bought for $15 million, although they spent $10 million redesigning the aircraft's interior. On the road, Larry Page and Sergey Brin share similar tastes in vehicles, as they each own and drive a Toyota Prius and a Tesla Model S among their individual collections. 
When they are on vacation, you can find this dynamic duo on Sergei's 73-meter super yacht, the Dragonfly, which he bought for $80 million in 2011. With Larry Page's net worth of $103 billion and Sergey Brin's $99.1 billion, they are definitely an iconic pair. Number 5. Warren Buffett Long before becoming the fifth richest CEO in the world with a net worth of $114 billion, Warren Buffett was a newspaper delivery boy that rode a bike. These days, however, Buffett travels in a Bombardier Challenger 600 named indispensable because he cannot go anywhere without it. In fact, Warren Buffett travels through the plane so much that he told Forbes in 2014, the truth is, I only drive about 3,500 miles, or 5,632 kilometers, a year, so I will buy a new car very infrequently. And the car he drives to achieve this relatively low mileage is a Cadillac XTS that he bought in 2014 for about $45,000. Number 4. Bill Gates Bill Gates is a billionaire with a philanthropic heart, but one thing that speaks of his wealth is his collection of private planes. Bill Gates can travel in lavish comfort with either of his two Gulfstream G650ER private jets bought for $70 million each, or either of the two Bombardier Challenger 350s he owns. And when he's not in the air, Bill Gates can enjoy a drive in his impressive car collection. With a net worth of over $120 billion, Bill Gates can afford to fund his passion for Porsches, which includes the Porsche 911, which he once was arrested for recklessly driving, the Porsche 959, and the all-electric Porsche Taycan. Bill Gates also has a Ferrari 348 as well as a few Mercedes and Lamborghinis. Number 3. Bernard Arnault when you are the richest person in France, the richest person in fashion, and one of the richest CEOs in the world with $136 billion to your name, you can afford to travel better than most people in the world. Bernard Arnault is the CEO of LVMH, a conglomerate that oversees 70 luxury brands, including Sephora, Louis Vuitton, and Tiffany's. He makes a lot of money, and he spends a significant part of it on traveling in comfort. Bernard owns a $73 million Bombardier Global 7500, which is the largest business jet in the world, and he has fully customized it for the best flight experience money can buy. When he is going for meetings or shows, you can spot Bernard in his $110,000 BMW 760Li, and when it's a relaxing trip, you find him aboard his 101-meter yacht Symphony. Bernard Arnault is a mega billionaire, and he definitely lives up to the title with sophisticated luxury in everything he owns, including his travel plans. Number 2. Jeff Bezos Jeff Bezos is the king of Amazon, or at least the CEO, and that position has brought him great success and even greater wealth. As the founder of several global businesses, Jeff Bezos has to travel a lot, and he does it in style with not one but two Gulfstream G650 planes, the total cost coming to about $140 million. But that's less than 1% of his $144 billion net worth. He can definitely afford both Gulfstream planes as well as their $5 million customization cost. However, when he is not flying in and out of the country, you can see him in his $3 million Ferrari, $3.4 million Bugatti Veyron, or being chauffeured around in a $96 million bulletproof Cadillac Escalade. For personal trips though, Bezos likes sticking to his 1997 Honda Accord. When asked by CBS's Bob Simon about the car in 1999, Bezos responded, this is a perfectly good car. Number 1. Elon Musk The brain behind the revolutionization of electric cars can't be expected to travel in anything but the best, and that's a fact. With a net worth of $224 billion, Elon owns two Gulfstream private jets, which he has customized with a priority for function and comfort in his frequent travels. 
The G650ER cost him about $70 million, while the G550 was a bit less at $61 million. When he is on the road, Elon loves using his own product as he frequently drives the $140,000 Tesla Model S Roadster or the $110,000 Tesla Model S. Other than the product testing trips, Elon does have an impressive car collection. His collection features a Haman BMW M5, a Ford Model T, which was a gift, an Audi Q7, and a Porsche 911, which inspired the foundation of Tesla. But that's a story for another video. The most impressive car in his collection, however, is the iconic Lotus Esprit submarine car that was featured in the 1997 James Bond film The Spy Who Loved Me. While it is not a car that can be driven, it definitely adds that final touch to the affluence of Elon Musk's lifestyle. And there you have it! Those were some of the exciting, interesting, and expected ways the richest CEOs travel. If you had billions at your disposal, would you rather travel in planes, expensive cars, or cruise in a magnificent yacht? Let us know in the comments section down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Want to be the first to see our next exciting video? Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Until next time.